The fishing gears and techniques that traditional fishermen used can be classified as highly sustainable. The bamboo fish trap is perhaps one of the most traditional methods of local fishing. As the name implies, it is made of bamboo, which gives it a very short lifespan. This makes it very environmentally friendly for the coral reefs where they are placed. A much better alternative to the steel traps that are on the increase today. There are three types of fish traps, or as they are known locally, kazi. The kazi pizi has two poles, which are placed diagonally in a crossed fashion through the fishing trap. It is placed at low tide with the stones to hold it down. They are left between four to six days in the water, after which, when it's low tide, the fishermen would drag it to shore to empty out their catch. Originally, fishermen would go on foot to place this trap. <laughs> Là vous venez peser, vous mettez là les mains, les mains, la main sec, quoi le guetter Vous allez tout la main sec. Bien, les voir aller, trois quarts d'heure, les voir aller, ou les dix scènes, dans des poissons pleins, qui ne peuvent pas lever, la main, la main, ou pis ça, la main, ou ils voulaient ça à l'autre. Au moins, quand il y a poissons qui vont. Casier La Vol, also known as Claire, are baited and set up usually early in the morning and retrieved later in the day around 10 a.m. The kind of baits used in this casier vary depending on the kind of fish they wanted to catch. For example, Lalian reglis, a local plant, was known to attract rabbit fish, whereas Lulu, a small kind of crab, was known to attract parrotfish. Some fishermen also use octopus as bait. Compared to other types of casier, casier dormi are set in deeper waters, much further from the shore. Stones are attached to the casier to allow them to sink. This type of casier is usually the strongest and can be left for a number of days before they are retrieved. 